Hello. Explody chest is still insane. It's still crazy good. I think anyone who can fit it into their build should. It doesn't cost more than a couple exalts to get guaranteed, no matter what. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's show why you should still use it. So what I have here is I just have a simple occultist. Uh, I'm using Bane and, uh, I'm just going to show you with and without Explody. So we'll just put in a simple little tier one map here because I'm not going to, I'm going to be using zero damage gear just, just here to show the explode. Um, so right now I have no weapon and no chest equipped. Uh, I do have Profane Bloom, so we'll see a little bit of Profane Bloom working, and uh, we'll ramp it up to different levels of Explode. Um, you know, so basically, uh, what happened is they Explode used to be 100% for 3 or 5% life, based on if it was Maven Exploded or not, and now it is between 11 and 35% chance to Explode for one tenth of their life. So, um... If you scale physical damage at all, like in the clip at the beginning, that is my, I was cold BV elementalist a couple days ago. Um, I'm already on my seventh build this league. Um, uh, I You scale fizz a lot with that build. And as you saw, you're getting basically like very close to full screen pops like you used to. It's still very, very good. And that's that was with this chest with a 29% chance to explode. And that could go to 35%. And then if you are able to get a synthesized weapon that has it for another 25%, you're bas basically going to be popping the whole screen like very cleanly anyway, so if, like, especially if you're scaling fizz damage. Um, I bought, I made this chest, like I, I fully woke together and made this chest for a total of, I think, five exalts, five or six exalts. Um, and uh, I bought this base for 20 chaos. Obviously this is not the right base for this build, but uh, you can absolutely just set up a watch on the trade website and find these for super, super underpriced. Uh, you know, <laughs> hopefully this video is what gains traction for my own sake, for um, you know, people realizing how much it's slept on and how good it is. I saw there were a couple, there were a bunch up for one exalt, but I, saw, I found this one for 20 chaos. Um, you like, you might be able to find explodey wands and stuff like that. Um, you know, there's, I think there's a lot that's being slept on right now. So anyway, for the demo. Uh, so what we're, I'm going to do is I'm going to take out Despair entirely, and we'll, so I have no Profane Bloom. This is, I'm just on a, a pseudo four link. I used an Essence of Delirium to put the Socket of Gems, deal more damage over time. And, uh, I just have a very simple three link with Bane here. And you can just see what it looks like as soon as I find some mobs. And I just, you, you just kill them, they die, all, all the monsters that I hit, not bad. Now, if we put Bane in, if we put Despair in, now we're getting some pops, some more monsters are dying. Uh, the, the, it's a little bit cleaner, but you can see just like, you know, it's 40% chance. So four out of 10 monsters are exploding. It's not totally clean. There will be monsters that kind of live on the edge of, uh, of the pack and they, and they still make it out. And, and this build doesn't scale physical damage at all. Now we put these on, which doesn't change my damage at all. It's, uh, it's just giving me uh, like 54% chance to explode. Now you can see I am very cleanly popping entire packs here. And uh, yeah, my damage is exactly the same. And now packs are cleaning, like you get like nice clean on the edge. We don't have to worry about porcupines anymore. And this is just a couple of exalt um, investment. Super, super easy. Everything is clean. It's real nice. Um, you know, I use my cane of unraveling in later maps, but I still use this chest and, uh, you know, this is just to demo like where it can be if you really push it. So that is, uh, I still think it's, it's crazy good. People are sleeping on it and, uh, that that's the demo there. Let's show how easy it is to craft. If you haven't seen it yet, it's, um, it's, it's a super, super easy to craft item. All right. So for crafting an explodey chest. So you go to the, you know, this is, we're just going to emulate it so we can show it really quickly. In Craft of Exile, create new item, body armor, whatever. Click something, uh, Crusader, item level, you want at least 86, I believe. And we just hit it with Jagged Fossils only until we get the two physical modifiers, which will be physical damage to melee attackers, reflects, and the uh, Fizz as Lightning. 
So that's the other one, the Fizzles Lightning. We want both of them with an open prefix. Um, if you get both of them with a closed prefix, you can beastcraft, remove a prefix, add a suffix, and hopefully you hit that one out of three. And that, that makes it cheaper to just like, instead of you spamming jagged fossils all day. So if we just do this, all right, so we have an, so we have a prefix here. We can also use a Nelman orbs if we want. See if we can hit that maximum energy shield. We did. Awesome. <laughs> all right, before we do the roll to put it on, we can check on Craft of Exile the waiting for this. So we know that it's going to guarantee when we do the reroll fizz, uh, adding a physical modifier. And so we add prefixes cannot be changed. And then when we do a harvest reroll physical, it will guarantee add the one remaining physical modifier, which is Explodey. Now, the downside here <laughs> is that it is actually a 25 out of 125 chance. So you have a one in five chance here. Um, Conversely, you could just spam Jagged Fossils until you see it. I've seen it a lot just trying to roll them myself, just spamming Jagged Fossils. But with that said, we can just guarantee it no matter what. It will cost two exalts, but we just get our guaranteed here. And honestly, 20% is totally fine. It's it's enough to make a difference. And if you are, you know, you pack if you are popping a pack of 10 monsters and you have a 20% chance, there's just a it's just a really good chance that you're gonna pop at least one one or two monsters. And if you are a physical scaling build, any like you're doing a physical to element conversion or anyone that's just doing raw fizz, it will scale that damage and propagate to at least killing a few more monsters. And that will make a night and day difference for anything that has on, on death effects, you know, a specific, like anything with uh, detonate dead that's going to happen or with porcupines, especially. Um, and then you can get a weapon like this that has a, just a flat 25% chance no matter what. Um, and it makes a really, really big difference. So, um, yeah, I, I, I think it's crazy that people aren't using it and it's not really valued right now. Uh, I totally understand why the price is five exalts for the tier two, but you can get the tier one, you can make the tier one guaranteed for two exalts yourself or honestly just spamming fossils. Actually, in fact, here's, here's a demo. This, this is me before showing the example. I hit Explodey three times just spamming Jagged Fossils, trying to come up with the example to show you guys how to do the Harvest Craft. Um, it's actually not bad. Like if you have a nice tier 86 Astral Plate or Valregalia and you have a bunch of Jagged Fossils, you hit it a lot. And if you hit that tier one, it's an instant four to five exalts that's selling on the market right now, or you can just use it. Um, I, I still think it's worth squeezing into your build if you can manage it. Uh, I hope hopefully this demo showed to you how strong it is and uh, you consider using it. And I, I really think that Explodey will uh, perhaps not meta, but it will at least kind of ascend in its popularity, this league as, you know, people overreact all the time, right? And they like, oh, something was nerfed and I'm not going to, I'm not going to use it anymore. And it's kind of, it kind of sits there on the side. But uh, I think as soon as more people start weaving Explodey back into their builds, and it's really, really easy, uh, you know, Awakener orbs are pretty cheap right now, and you can just put whatever other nice thing you want on there and just toss Explodey in for, for not super expensive. Um, so keep, keep an eye out on that. Maybe you guys can make some money by just selling Explodey chests, by just crafting it how I showed, and, uh, or maybe you just really enjoy it in your build. So... Yeah, hopefully this guy this helps you out. And uh, you know, if you want more tips like this or some good build guides, uh, like subscribe, follow, watch watch my Twitch, whatever. I love you. Bye. What? Okay, that's it. I'm reporting you.